This swing needs a little more testing, so you know, don't wait for me. Actually, the only problem, Mark, is it could use a little breeze, so. Oh, yeah. Paradise. <laughs> So we're on our way to meet Isabel and Rochelle and their daughter, Kesem. Now Kesem needs a bedroom makeover and Isabel and Rochelle could use some financial advice to help plan for Kesem's future and their own. You got the bedroom makeover, yes. I got the financial advice. Let's do this. Okay. Well, thanks for inviting us over. And I understand you're the one looking for a bedroom makeover. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me what's not working about your room? So, I have autism and ADHD. My autism causes me to have sensory needs. I really need something to be able to, like, have those needs met so that I can, like, focus more, I guess. I think having a separate sleep area whereas not everything happens in bed. And what about um, when it comes to storage? Yeah, I like to have like an open look so that I can see all of like my actual shirts or like my pants or something. And also I can't sit in one place or like stand in one place, it's really hard. So I think the main kind of things I would like is a swing. I think it would really help and be really nice for like all my sensory needs and also just to have fun. I think you just want to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, I love it. I got it. I have all the instructions. We want zones. We want things on display. We like a little bit of texture, sensory, some movement. I'm going to do this all today. And that's cool. <laughs> yeah? Is that pretty cool? And maybe while I do that, your moms can have a little conversation about planning for the future as well. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we have a lot of work to do. Okay. Is everybody buying in? Yeah. yeah. OK, let's make it happen. OK. okay. so great to speak to the both of you and I know Kesem is your number one priority in terms of saving so talk to me a little bit about that. You know when we think about saving for Kesem's education everyone always talks about our ESPs but I don't know for Kesem that a traditional educational route will be for them. I would say for sure check it out because it's not just traditional universities or colleges there's also all different types of courses that are approved. I don't know if you've uh, taken a look at the Registered Disability Savings Plan. I've never heard of no. it. Never no. heard of it. I'd love to know more. So if uh, Kesem is eligible for the disability tax credit, then you're able to open a registered disability savings plan, RDSP. So you can save up to $200,000 in this plan, but the government also gives grants up to $70,000 and additional bonds and in around $20,000. And you don't need to take out the, uh, the funds specifically to use um, like in an RESP for a specific education or, or program. So much more flexible, something for her future. So that I would say are some options. As always, if you need anything, our CIBC representatives are here to help you with any of your planning needs whatsoever. So Kesem's room is probably almost finished and I know you want to get back there to see it. We're addressing everything Kesem said she wanted for this space. There's lots of different zones, so the bed is for sleeping. Down here, we're getting the work zone going on underneath the loft bed. We've got the open shelving, that way they can see everything. Doesn't have to be tucked into a closet. Going from cheesy little light to a fan. Oh, my biggest fan is here. New zone over here, a little swing chair. Guys, you think this is good for an adult? Oh, wow, if it can hold me. Look at that. We're getting creative now. Ooh, that looks great. You guys ready? <laughs> oh, wow, oh, it's beautiful. What happened to my room? <laughs> All right, it's going to take you a minute to take it all in, so I'm going to walk you through it. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> we took the bed and we did a loft bed. So when you're up in bed, it's time to sleep, and there's nothing else to bother you. You wanted open storage for your clothing. You could see everything hanging right here. What I'm really excited about is we did a little gallery wall. It's got texture on there, so if you need to touch it, you need to feel it. You got the corks, you got the ferns. I call it sensory satisfying. <laughs> well, it is. Is it? <laughs> yeah. You wanted a zone for working. You'll notice I put your desk over here. You know why I love having your desk over here? Because you get to look out the window. Actually, the sun is shining on your desk. Yeah. And then, the big one you asked for. The swing. <laughs> you want to try it out? Yes. 
Moms, what are we thinking? Amazing. Uh, yeah, it's beyond. So beautiful. It, it really is like what I wanted. It really is. <laughs> One more thing. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Are you happy with your room? Yes, I am. And we got some great advice from Carissa as well. We did. Yes, very much. So everybody had a reward today. Now, should we have some cupcakes or what? Yeah. All right, let's All right, go have let's a few go. cupcakes. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much.